the list. Issues. Um, yeah, if you want to start hitting the kids up, you know she went to the um, to the orphanage. So if you want to hit parents up of other kids, you can do that. Do you want to? Yeah, I don't Okay, where do you want to go first? I mean, you can go straight down the line if you want. You can ask around town. It would not take you long to find out where these people live. Uh, the only difficulty during the day might be finding if it might be if they're at home or not, but you don't know that at this point. You know, if they work during the day, they might have night shifts. So where do you want to go? You tell me where you want to go to try to Just talk to them. start at the top of the list. Okay, who's, who's first? Oh, I guess Sheltering Pines will be the... Well, you know, she went to Sheltering Pines oh. to talk to the lady. Oh. You guys, since everybody's here and watching, you can do information dump without really having to go into all the detail. Okay. I have so Justin Morris, then. Morris? Okay, you find out where they live. Um, <laughs> you find that they live in a small, rundown house on the outskirts of Aylesbury. Uh, John is not there, the husband, but his wife is there. Um, ah, there she is. Elizabeth Morris. Um, she seems shy and reserved. It looks like she is actually doing mending work and laundry services. Um, supplement the income. It's a really, it's a, it's a nasty little house. I mean, it's just like, they're really poor, obviously. Um, you find out from her that John works around town performing odd jobs. Um, he'll be back this evening. But um, she um, she is um, she thinks it's fairies that are stealing the children. And of course, her daughter is it daughter who's stolen from that? Uh, Jessica. Jessica. Her daughter Jessica. She thinks is taking my fairies. There's fairy rings out in the woods, and she thinks the fairies are taking the children away to take them to their life. And then, they're, and they don't remember where they're going because that's how they work. You can do me psychology checks if you think she's lying, but if you think she's just stupid, then. <laughs> 23, let's see. <laughs> is, that, is that a success? Oh, yeah. I'm going to hold off, actually. Okay, you yeah. don't think she's lying to you. You think she really believes in fairies. Um, that, that, and she's hopeful of a better life for, for her child, actually, than what she has. It's really kind of sad, actually. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> but um, she was she's, she's happy that, um, I'm going to have to refer to this, because she knows the name, but I don't. Uh, she's so happy that Jessica was friend her. She loves her child very much. She hates that Jessica has to work um, to help supplement them, but they just, they're, they're just, they're poor. They're very, very poor. Um, oh, spot hidden from each of you. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that too real quick. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, she does have a bruise. Um, she has a bruise on her arm. That almost looks like someone like grabbed her really hard. What's that? Hmm? Is it other? Is it male? Is there a man in the house? Uh, you both have the information that yes, she's married. Okay. That her husband does odd jobs around town. I'm just going to assume it's in her seconds. Maybe he hits her. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to ask because she's going to be like, oh, I thought that was theirs. <laughs> okay. I don't know. The fairy did it. I cut myself. The fairy did it. Okay. Um, so that's all you find out from her. Uh, Jessica is unfortunately working at the mill right now, so you can't talk to her right now. But if you want to come back this evening, you're more than welcome. Okay. Did we probably see Jessica at the mill when we were there? Or did the other one? Maybe. There's like a couple dozen kids yeah. working there, I so who knows which one. I woods where they went. You, you could try to do that. Um, you still have time. You guys are just going to wait at the hotel for people to return, right? Okay. So you can go back to the hotel, smoke eating cigarettes, some pipes, food. eating some food, drinking lemonade, whatever yeah, you want to do. So um, you guys still have time before we pitched, we're caught up with Kyle. You're going to have time to do some more stuff, too. So who else do you want to talk to? Uh, let's go speak with the parents of Sylvia Drake, or Sylvia Drake's mother. Temperance Drake. Uh, let's see if she's home. Uh, nobody's home, but there it's an apartment over a restaurant. And when you go down to the restaurant and ask, they um, it find, turns out that um, Temperance works uh, washing dishes, uh, and you can meet her briefly. Um, she's not sure what happened to her child, and again, I don't know the name. Who's the Drake boy? Sylvia Drake. She doesn't know what happened to her child. Um, you do learn that her husband abandoned them several years ago. Oh. And that she works washing dishes in the restaurant, and that uh, her daughter works at the local mill. 
and she's so glad to have her back. And she like starts like her eyes start tearing up as, as she's telling you about her daughter coming back. Yeah. Um, and that she doesn't know what she would do without Sylvia. She loves her. She's her best friend. And, well, you know, and all that. She's very obviously very very attached to Sylvia and loves her very much. Uh, you guys still have time. Well, these these interviews are taking like five or ten minutes each, and yeah. finally the people taking the long time. Another one. Joseph Beltnap. Joseph Beltnap. A lot of people. Nobody's home um, at the small shack on the farm, on a farm outside of town. Yes, and there are laborers out in the fields. I don't know if you guys want to go out in the fields and try to talk to these people or what. Yeah. Yeah, Skip it. You You do find Joseph. He works on the farm there. Uh, He's just a laborer. you find that he's a widower. His wife died giving birth to Lydia. Uh, she works in, again, she works in the mill to try to help support them. They make very little money. Uh, he's very poor, obviously. Oh, I have a picture. There he is. Uh, and um, Lydia's a great kid. Um, he really feels bad for the fact that he's had to try to bring her up without a mom. Um, he has no idea what happened to her. He thinks she might have run away, that she thought she could make a better life for herself or something, but then she couldn't find anything after a few days and so came back. Uh, he's not sure if she's lying or not, or he, that's what he thinks happens to her. Okay. That'll get you guys to around noon. What are you looking at? I just hate these bees. Oh. And then right here, and then in basic, I flipped it. Oh, it's supposed to look on Deco, I think. <laughs> okay. What? Right. Look at the bees. You have some time still. Yeah. Before they catch up with Kyle. Uh, it's getting close to noon. Do you two guys want to go back to the hotel or you want to continue your investigation until you finish dealing with parents? I'll just continue. <laughs> okay, so you two are going to continue. <laughs> just a side for her. She's not going to continue. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, she's fine. Honestly, I, I think. You she's can not just ready to go back to the hotel or something. Okay, you can go back to the hotel. Yeah. And you meet them there around 11, 11 o'clock, and you two guys can share, you three can share information. <laughs> They're smoking. I don't know, does your character smoke cigarettes? Uh, no, it's a, uh, it's a uh, pipe. There it is. You have a pipe? Do you, do you smoke cigarettes? Not cigarettes, but I will do the occasional cigar or pipe. Okay. You find them sitting in one of the rooms, uh, like one of the downstairs rooms in the hotel, smoking and talking. About this asshole, <laughs> or whatever. That was so, really full of BS. Yeah, this is about 11 o'clock. Um, or between 10 and 11 ish is when you would get back. You only spoke to Penelope very briefly. So you can deal with them if you want. You can tell them what you learned or whatever you want to do. Okay. Hello, gentlemen. What did you find out today? Cops are dicks. <laughs> this is so some that. pretty bad people in it. Mm. Well, that's funny. There's something going on with that mill. Yeah. But that mill is definitely connected. I spoke to the woman at the orphanage and she oh, informed me that all of the children that were kidnapped were from the mill or worked at it, so certainly so. I agree with that. Oh, you guys got this information? Check. <laughs> you so can we, just we do we agree that this that mill was a yeah. place to... Well, yeah, all, all the kids work there. That, so, something going on. Maybe we should check the woods around the mill. <laughs> but the cops are baffled. We have no... <laughs> I wouldn't. Is he there or is it just the three of us? It's just the three of us. Shut up. Okay. Hey, <laughs> you're not even talking here. <laughs> um... Yeah, either role play it out or just say what information you want to give to each other. Either way, it's fine. Oh, well, now I already said my piece. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think um, you pretty much got the gist of it. Do you guys it. just want to wait at the hotel for others to return, or do you want to, want to do something else? The three of you are together now. Together forever. Well, maybe not. Forever. Or, uh, probably not after this game. Wait, when did the other ones go? Where did what? Where did the other ones go? Other people. Um, oh, um, you uh, know, Robert well, said he was know. going to the Historical Society. Somebody, he said that to somebody, and it was somebody in the group would have heard that. You might not have been paying attention or didn't hear it. Um, what you know, these two are going to the police department. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if you guys would know that. No, you I guys were like, we're going to Hollywood's head, we're going to the mill. They were going, 
I don't know if Bernard sure. did. Bernard would know. You would know. These two said they were going to go talk to the police, and uh, Rockville said he was going to the historical society. Okay. That's all. Okay. There you go. <laughs> as easy as that. Yeah. <laughs> Do we know if they'll be back soon? Um. Probably. It's more, it's more likely. Say wait. There you go. Okay, say so anyway, Noon comes around, they're not back yet. Well. I'm going to go to <laughs> You guys would have time to actually, if you wanted to, you could have had lunch. You could go ahead and have oh, a yeah. little lunch. Oh, yeah. Boom, that's yeah. then. By the time it's over, it's around noon. Nobody has returned yet. That's what you've seen. Did Felix go with them? Yes, Felix went with Rockfall Ross. They brought the cab, too. I will I check the library. The library? The library? Yeah, you can go to the library. Does anybody want to go with him? Up to you guys. You don't have to. You don't have to. You can enjoy this wonderful day sitting on the veranda of the hotel. Uh, yeah. I mean, so you're probably coming lazy. down from your high. <laughs> if you're yeah, lazy, be so lazy. 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 Be as lazy as you want to be. Go around back and take a few yeah, hits not. off your marijuana oh. smoke and then come out in front and just enjoy the passerbys. I want to keep my eye on yes. him. Like, I don't really want him out of my sight. So, so you can go on him, yeah. Don't you guys are going to the library. He's um, your hero. <laughs> no, you don't realize. Like, I know who you are, but he doesn't realize I know who he is, right? No, I. I right. I don't think. You both yeah. recognize each other. I know who you are. Exactly. You both recognize each other. You're hoping he doesn't recognize you. Yeah. He hasn't given any indication that he does. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you go to the library and you're trying to do some research there. Um. Let's see if I can't find the other people. You don't see anybody in the library. Nope. Nobody's there. Well, he's, he went to the historical yeah. society of the not the library. Oh, is that no. what you meant? That's what I meant. Okay, okay. So that's okay. Then it's still the library. You guys are going to the historical society. Um, yes, you find Rockefeller, Felix, and a, a gentleman uh, wearing just a cheap suit, um, finishing their lunch of sandwiches, chips, and um, lemonade, and cookies. I always want to do something. What? Whenever, whenever like somebody walks in on me that hasn't been with me, I want to be telling a story every time. Oh yeah, yeah, I can see him doing that. Actually. Yeah, he's telling. And story. what he meant was an elephant. <laughs> The other, the other man just cracks up with that. <laughs> Actually, do a. Uh, no, quite twice. <laughs> no one laughs. Uh, just do a uh, n- own languages roll. How about that? Own languages roll. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, this won't go up if you succeed, uh, so you don't have to check it or anything like that. But my education comes by. Oh, that yeah. would be 65. Yeah, you have a 65 percent chance of it being a good story. Yeah, it's good. It is. So he, he the curator crack. Oh no, fuck! He crack up anyway because you gave him twenty dollars. Yeah. Oh yeah. He he it's, a, it's a real lab. It's a oh, fake one. Oh, oh, oh. Felix, Felix just kind of is like. He's heard it a couple of times. <laughs> it's so droll, so. <laughs> yeah, it's heard it like a hundred times. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the better stories. And then these two guys are walking. You guys walk in on yeah. Oh, I must hear this story sometime. <laughs> oh, I. Wait, oh god, I've already forgotten my voice. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll hear it sometime. Yeah, it's a great it. story, a great story. He's gonna see Felix like turn his head like. No, no, no. He's just standing up and cleaning up like the, the dishes that he brought with him. Um, <laughs> so, did you find out anything interesting? Oh, are these gentlemen with you, Mr. Rockefeller? Oh, of course. Oh, well, they're welcome to uh, produce our archives as well, if you wish. Oh, the more the merrier. I could use more well, eyes on it for sure. Well, since we finished lunch and everything, he kind of like, wipes his hands off and. Uh, well, come with me, come with me. He leads you in the back, uh, and the four of you go into the back room. While we're well, walking, can I just tell them a five. couple of things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, apparently the woods are uh, very cursed, very cursed behind the mill, and uh, some dark things have happened there. Nip, knock, the Indians, uh, they seem to want some of their artifacts back. <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. Nip, <laughs> muck. Yeah. Nip, knock, nip, muck. No, you could get it right. I screwed up. That's why I want to give you the right word. Nip, muck. But uh, we're, we're going to check more records in the like, back. I could use your yeah, eyes on it, of course. Oh, I tell him about what we found out about, like, so far, like, the mill. Like, like, everything seems to be going to the mill and the woods around the Are mill. you going to say this around the curator? Yes. Or are you going to wait until he leaves you guys in the back? Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Okay, because right. you're talking about shit that, you know, yeah. and curses, blah, blah, blah. And then he shows, he just asks that you are respectful. If you need any help, please let him know. He'll be right in front. Most Sounds of great. Okay, and then he leaves you guys alone. Uh, it's very dusty back here, and then Daniel, that's when you can tell him about. Are you dumping all the information about this rape that was walked in on and everything? And Do you think we should keep that out? 
You can't have this conversation because Kyle's right there right now. See what I'm saying? But yes, apparently the Indians always believe in some weird, strange, horrifying tales. Of course. But yeah, it seems to be localized around the woods at the mill. They'll find anything to say that's cursed. I've never met an Indian who didn't know of a curse. <laughs> Do you reveal all the information from the, the from what you learned from yes. watching them? Yes, okay. we'll talk about it. So, Kyle, did you hear, hear all that press? Yeah, I did. About the lady walking in on the, basically a child. My <laughs> God! You're going to tell me in a time like this? Uh, this some... is dark stuff. This is terrible, terrible stuff. Something must be done about this. Well, of course about something should be done about, about this. Paper. Okay, if you guys want to search, there's a lot to search back here. Each check is going to take you four hours. Is the library use? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're starting around 1 p.m. Felix will also get a roll. Lord, there's a lot of books. There's books, there's <laughs> artifacts, there's just... It's it's like, this is the storage. They put all the stuff up front that they want to kind of have organized. This is all the leftovers. Yeah. And there's a ton of shit back here. It's not alphabetized. <laughs> no, it's not even yeah. documented as to what's going on. Do we have Dewey Decimal at this point? Yes, yeah, Dewey Decimal's around since the 1800s, so right. it's uh, it's around, but it, this stuff isn't isn't categorized. Nope. So. Nope. Oh, Felix made his. Oh, fuck. Nope. Felix made the rest of us didn't. You guys search for four hours. <laughs> oh, God. Damn. The only one who finds anything is Felix, and he says he found a book. It appears to be a diary. He says, do you remember about this... The Ann Bishop woman that you found out about? Did, weren't you the one that made that check? That was Parker. No, Parker. Ann Bishop Parker, correct. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Weren't you the one that made that roll? Yeah. I thought so. He says, do you remember what you found out about up front? I found her diary. From the 17th century? Yes, sir. I would handle it very carefully. Is it the witch one? Yeah. Correct, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think they told you there was... Uh, Felix will fill you in, too, while you're looking. Yeah. That there was some witch back in 1694 who uh, was convicted of witchcraft. Um, Felix hasn't really looked through it. Um, you can kind of skim it, but it's probably going to take you a couple of hours to skim it there, Kyle. Oh, boy. If you guys want... Yeah, we can keep the, th- the three, The three here can make another one. You can stay another four hours. Kyle, you won't get a library use check, but you'll get to skim the book and get the information from it. Yes. Okay. So, it's going to be 8 or 9 o'clock at night before you return nope. to the hotel. Oh, Felix didn't make it either. I you actually made it. Made it you made it? You find uh, a tomahawk that kind of stands out as interesting. Mm. The accent is made of antler or bone and of some sort of a long shaft crafted from ash. It's decorated with wolf teeth, hawk feathers, and curved symbols. Uh, do you have anthropology? You can make an anthropology or archaeology check if you so do. I knew I should have put points in those. No. Or you can show it to other people and let them look at it and see if they want to look at it. But you can go ahead and make a roll for it. Uh, whichever's higher, anthropology or archaeology. How'd you get one? They're both one. Nope. Okay. And so, also no. Just, just, just in case. Yeah. Suddenly, what? <laughs> I know everything about so this. So you can't really, you can't really decipher the curved symbols. Yeah. Carved symbols, sorry. Um, but um, it looks, it's obviously Native American. Uh, you don't have Cthulhu Mythos, so we don't make a roll there. Um, it's a big, it's a big fucking axe. Uh, wait, wait, how big? I thought it was like a little it's a, small. Oh, no, it's like, a, it's like a big ass axe. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, it is a tomahawk, but it's still okay. like, it's still probably like so long. And then the tomahawks have these really long blades. Are with handheld, not they are, but it's still like this long. It's like for a giant? It's, no, it's not like, no, no. It's like a real tomahawk. <laughs> it's not just like a little toy. It's like so long. The handle is so long. Yeah. The blade comes out really far, you yeah. know, because that's how they were. The blades came out. And, um, I haven't seen it right um, <laughs> My uncle has a couple, actually. Or at least they're made like them. Um, yeah, it, and it's really nice. It just stands out. It's like, this is important to you. That's what, that's what you get. It's like, holy crap. This is literally probably hundreds, if not a thousand years old. Here's your thoughts. You know, I actually think... Uh, How much can I give? I can't hide this on myself. <laughs> it would be tough to sneak it out, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. You're looking up well, yeah, that, that one is probably... Uh, I'm talking about the big one. More like, 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 like peace more like on Yeah, like this... Yes, it's big. I mean, this, you think if you hit somebody with this thing, it's going to fucking hurt them bad. Okay? It's not like a little hatchet. It's almost, it's not as big as a wood axe, obviously. Yeah. But it's big enough that 
Yeah. You can you could possibly kill somebody with a hit from this. Yeah. Thing. So you know, do with that what you will. Yeah, Kyle. There's spells in that book too, by the way. Mm-hmm. You're picking up a lot of them, like a half a dozen. Mm-hmm. It is a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I'm talking. Yeah, that's totally what I'm talking about. So, um, yeah, I'll bring it up so people will look at it. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, everybody in the room can make anthropology. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of time to kill with you guys to do stuff, so if you want. You guys play checkers for seven hours. <laughs> anthropology, 1%. I rolled a 10 and still fail. No. Nope. You want to look at this this tomahawk? Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, you skimmed it, right? <laughs> this stuff is bad. <laughs> it is. <gasps> Make a sanity check, Kyle. Oh, yes. <laughs> First sanity roll of the night. It is. Jeez. So after five rolls, I got a 1%. Oh, wait. My yeah. <laughs> sanity is higher than it's hard. Yeah. That's so weird. You might not lose any. You're just selling it. Yeah. Under's good. Under's good. Yeah. You, yeah. Make, you don't lose any sanity. Wait, wait. But you just skimmed it. All I did was skim the book. He's not reading it in depth. It would take about six hours to read in depth. He just skimmed it to get a general idea of the stuff. So, um, no, I mean, did you want to look at the uh, tomahawk? I'm a little freaked out right now. Okay, so they're like, hey, what do you think of this tomahawk? And you're like, yeah. shake your head. Okay, are you alright, sir? <laughs> no. <laughs> what was in the book? Just take it. Down. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible stuff. I wouldn't want you to see it. <laughs> oh, you have those books too. We need to keep that in mind. But I'm assuming you left those at Rockstar House. I'll, I'll tell you what's in the book when we get back to the hotel with the bourbon in our hand and a pipe in the other. Sounds like a marvelous idea. Okay, so do you want to take the book with you? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna try to sneak it out? No, I'm gonna take oh, it. Oh, sure. Go rent it, buy it, whatever. Okay, what about the tomahawk? You guys also are not sure if you found everything there is to be found here. Just FYI, yeah. you just don't know. So you I, might have. I don't you know. think. I my guy. Oh yeah. Okay. If you don't think that you have, then you can always come back tomorrow. Yeah. But it's I don't it's know nine o'clock at night. The curator has come to the door while you guys were searching several times. Just kind of looked and then left towards the evening hours. Yeah. Like probably after six o'clock, he started coming every uh, half an hour. So <laughs> just be like. And then he would just leave. Like, he didn't want to tell you to leave. Yeah. $20 donation is a nice donation, so he's going to try to stay on your good side and help for more money. Um, what do you want to try to do with this tomahawk? If you try to hide it on your way out, it will require a concealed check. Um, I don't know if you've got any points in that or not. Do. Um, what's yours and what's mine? Oh, it's an e-call before. <laughs> so you, you might be able to buy it, but you don't know. Can we maybe talk him and convince him? You know, oh, yeah, cool, you don't know me. Oh. Yeah, it's a pretty good sized thing, there, Kyle. Should we, should we Did you hear what he said? He just seems talking to. Oh, I didn't know he was talking to me. Oh yeah, yeah. So how do how do we go about taking this out? Can we ask him if he's willing to part with it? I've, uh, I've already talked to the curator. Uh, I'm pretty sure he'll give us whatever we want. If not, I'll deal with him myself. Okay. There you go. Oh, oh, I'll see. deal with him myself. <laughs> I think we should take this as well. Okay. So you're heading out with that. Um, <clears throat> all right. Um, he, what do you want to say to this guy when you come out with these two items? Okay. Um, These are mine. I believe. <laughs> no. That's Has cool. he ever given me his name the entire time? No. And actually, don't give it in here, so I'm gonna have to make one up. Make one up. But you didn't. Yeah, yeah. Surely, while we were talking. While you were talking, you didn't have his name. I'm gonna talk um, Shirley. We're gonna say his name is very simple. It's Thomas Smith. Johnson. It's just an easy way to go. Well, it's just just the average the guy working who works there. Okay, so I'm gonna walk up to the desk. Ah, uh, Mr. Rock, are you ready to leave? Now, Thomas, I want you to hear me out, and I want you to hear me out good, and I want you to hear me out in full until you begin to talk. We have two things here. I have a book, and I have a tomahawk. My friend has very special needs, special desires, and this tomahawk has definitely filled it. Now, this book here... 
Here's Rush. <laughs> now this book here, this book here is a good read. It's a good read, Thomas, and I need to read it full. I want to read it twice. No, hear me again. I want to read it three times, Thomas. And I can't do that here. I need to do it in the privacy of my own home with a pipe and a bourbon. You surely understand that, Thomas. You're a good man, and I'm sure you understand it. Now here's what I'm going to do for you, sir. Here's what I'm going to do. I saw your eyes light up when I put in that donation box. I'm going to put another ten in there for you, Thomas, and I'm going to give you a ten for the way you've treated me today. And it's been good, Thomas, and I know you're going to see this through. I know you're going to let me do this. And we will bring these back in better condition than you saw them leave today. Now, how does that sound for you, sir? Uh, very, very well. Um, okay, so I'm going to need either a bargain or a credit rating skill check. Credit rating. Your choice. I'm going to give you a 10% bonus for the paying 20 more dollars. Yeah. Okay. Really. So, yeah. Yes, he's fine with that. And um, You donate the, an additional 20 bucks. Well, ten in the box, ten in him. Ten in him, right. And, um, yes, he's fine with you taking those artifacts. And if, uh, if there's anything else that, he, that you need from the nice Scope Society, please let me know. Oh, you will be the he's first one I'll talk to. Alright, and you're off. Back to the hotel at nine o'clock at night, probably. <laughs> that was a good Eight or nine o'clock. Okay, well done. <laughs> I love having money. <laughs> it is nice. <laughs> it? Being rich in this game really makes things just kind of flow. Yeah, no, that's really why hard. I love Bertelli. Yeah, I'll just buy this house. <laughs> okay, you guys were going to head for the, um, wait, the three, no. Here. You're you're just at the hotel. You just don't yeah, care, right? Chilling. Okay. You two were gonna head for the next thing on the list, weren't you? Travers. That was um the Travers, whose son disappeared this morning. Ooh. Ooh. What do you think he went? Yes. Uh, you can meet with them, Elijah Travers, and his wife Martha. Elijah is the first thing you notice is his missing. Um, hold on. Oh, okay. His missing right arm. Oh my God. Jesus. And his missing right leg. Oh my God. Um, they did. Uh, what you can learn is that he was in the war. Oh. He signed up as soon as America could enter the war, and he came back within um, a month later. Jeez. No, like, it says a month. He came back a month after his son was born. Um, so he came back a short time later, having lost an arm and a leg. Um, in this time period, there is not a whole lot of, uh... Anything they do? Well, they don't get paid for that. Yeah. So, um, it is... Martha had to, um... Is a lady's maid, and, um, they have a two-room loft near the tannery. So it stinks pretty yes. much here. Um, when Preston was ten, he decided to go work for the mill and help support the family, where he's been working ever since. And unfortunately, and now he's gone. And he, and um, Mrs. Uh, Martha Martha Travers is hysterical. She oh. wants her boy back. Um, she starts crying as soon as she starts talking about him. Um, she loves her son. Blah blah blah. blah. Um, her husband just kind of is, is tries to comfort her, but um, is obviously somewhat shell shocked as well, probably from the war. Uh, terrible things happen in the war to people's minds. Uh, he tries his best. It's it's a terribly uncomfortable and horrible scene while you guys are there. Uh, and she's like, are you going to help? Can you bring back my son? Bring back my son! And she just cries. What do you say? What do you do? <laughs> she just leaves. <laughs> Walk out. No, it's so uncomfortable, though. It is. It's, the woman is she falls apart. She just wants her son back. She doesn't... Is there anything you say or do? Or do you just try to comfort her as best you can and get out as quickly as possible? Help her, guys. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just kind of like... How about you there, Colin? <laughs> How's Adler going to handle this? Uh, <laughs> anything you want to say to her? Oh, I'm like, this second game sucks. No. <laughs> first game's better. <laughs> I don't know. Can I use like any of the psychology? Or you could use psychology if you want to try to calm her down and like reassure her that you're gonna find her kid. You know, you can go that route. Sure. We are gonna find your child. Yeah. Come hell or high water, we will bring your boy back. You know? Yeah, make a psychology check. Now fail. You fail? Okay. You don't say it very convincingly. Bless you. You don't say it very convincingly. She breaks down. She into tears. She is convinced that that um, what the heck is his name? That Preston will never come back. He's gone. He's gone forever. 
<laughs> so it's, it's just it's a terribly uncomfortable scene and you, okay, and you guys keep out there. Yeah, you can excuse, <laughs> excuse yourselves while the yeah, husband tries to help you, help kind of calm her down unsuccessfully. Yeah. Sorry to disturb. Yes, it's a, it's yeah, it's terrible. She's oh. just wracked with despair. Um, there you go. So, what else do you want to do? You have like hours and hours before you figure out where the others went. <laughs> yeah, what do you two want to do with the rest of your day? I want to grab one of these kids that we met. Maybe the dishwasher the lady will let us have her and be like, where'd you go? Well, they're working in the mill. You the find dishwasher. Them. No, no, she's the dishwasher. Temperance dishwashing the dishes. Uh, Her daughter's working, she's she's daughter's dishwasher. working at the mill. That's one of the connections that's been with all these kids. They oh. all work at that mill. Yeah. You, okay. you could go to the yeah. mill and try to talk to some of the kids yeah. if you want. Yeah. You have no idea what's going on with the mill yet. Or you can wait till you think the, the kids are off work at the mill. You would have learned that they work till 7 p.m. They work from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily, six days a week. You could wait till after 7 if you want to wait for the kids to come home. How do you want to handle it? It's probably 2 in the afternoon now, so you have tons of time to care. I want to get kids to show me You want to what? I want to get kids to show me where they are. Right. So you could, like you could go to the mill if you want to talk to them immediately. Otherwise... I don't know about that mill. I mean, don't, I don't know You have no idea, it, but right? I know about it. But no, the <laughs> character doesn't. So keep that in mind. I know that. They're the only characters that don't know about what we found in the mill. Yeah, but they know you guys <coughs> went to the mill. But That's they don't all know what we found out. Correct. They don't, because you haven't talked to them yet. But these two do. Yes, because yes, because you talked to you talked to Bernard. Um, Bernard doesn't know lunch. about the rapist. You had Bernard. Uh, does he? Does he? Did, I didn't tell him. Did you said the info dumpster. Him, so I assume she did. Well, I don't want to say that what you did. So did you info dump her? It's up to you. All I said was that... You, you've been getting these little close to your chest. <laughs> you are a cop, and the more information that people have, probably the better that they can assess things. So it's up to you. Yeah, I, I, I said we told Okay, so you know about this whole rape thing that happened, too. That's why I got stoned. <laughs> I thought of Bernard. What kind of family is Bernard from? That's Bernard. Did he have a good family? <laughs> think about it. You don't have to say. But think about that. I mean, do you have a wonderful family and he's like rebelling against him and now he's finding out awful no. fucking things happen to people in the real world? I'm well, just just painting and leave. That'd be hilarious. Bernard's from like this super rich family, but he's like a beatnik guy who's just like, meh. I'm going to see if he's going back to where we're staying and wait for them and then ask them what they found from those if they're anywhere. You could. Yeah. Yeah, you get back to the hotel and... Yeah. Oh, Bernard's there. I'd like to find out what Bernard's He's Bernard sitting knows. out front, right? Aren't you like on the front stoop, like enjoying the weather, watching people go by and be like, "If there's hey. like a banister there and like a chair, I pull the chair up to the banister." Yeah, we'll and have like a, there's like a, there's like a porch. There's like a porch. There's like a porch. There's like a porch on this hotel. Cool. It's like a decorative porch with a lot of rocking chairs and chairs and stuff for people to sit on if they want. Right there on Main Street. I'm like, and you can watch back. cars go by and people go by. I'm gonna go I'm up to us. Looking at the clouds. So how is your day? Nice. What did you guys find out? Hmm? Came back? Make a psychology check. Oh boy. <laughs> they just came back from like hysterical ladies. Except so. for the lady. So they're probably both a little bit out of sorts, is what I would guess. And if you make this, you'll notice that they're a little bit out of sorts. <clears throat> you can always, guys, you can always just say, we just killed the afternoon wait for them to get back. Yeah. You made it? I barely made it. I made it. Yeah, all three oh. of you. They're both out of sorts. They they both seem like they've seen yeah. something uncomfortable. Did you say don't ask? Cause if you want to ask. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 You just noticed that. That's all. You can do whatever you want with this. Yeah. You guys seem kind of uh that's what they meant. Uh, no, that's not true. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. You see chill. I see you very this. stressed. See the background? What's up with this? Let's get back from the lady's house whose kid just went her thing. So, yeah. yeah. Now, did you hear about the mill? Nope. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I was meaning to ask, but, um, so, no. so, there's been some crazy stuff in such as, it's kind of weird. I want to tell her. You take some more pills before you tell them? <laughs>